Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to use the countdown timer feature on your Casio Edifice ECB S100D watch. This is module 5658 by Casio. This is one of the cooler features on the watch for me, at least from a countdown timer standpoint. It at least shows you what this bottom left subdial is used for on the watch and we're going to be looking at that here in a second. So let's first go to our timer mode. Now first let me say I'm going to show you a couple of things on here. Using the countdown timer you would obviously use your watch. If you're wanting to do the settings I show you, you could also use your cell phone instead of doing it on the watch. It's a nice thing with this watch is your settings can be done on the cell phone. Simply sync them to the watch or you could do it on the watch itself. You'll see what we're talking about here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the bottom left button. That's our mode button. We're going to press it three times till we get to TMR and that's our countdown timer. Now when you get in, you are going to see your countdown timer value here. You can set a default value. I, I have mine set for 10 minutes. This is where I was saying you could do this on the watch or you could do it on your cell phone. If you're okay with the 10 minute timer, all you would do to start your countdown timer is simply press the bottom right button and that will start your countdown timer. What I was talking about the subdial is if your countdown timer is within 30 minutes, you will also see a countdown value over here on this left subdial. Other than being your battery indicator, it will also show you whenever you are within 30 minutes of a timer going off, whether that's an alarm or whether that's your countdown timer. So if you look at mine here, you can see I've got nine minutes and 35 seconds to go, and then that's what this analog value over here is showing as well. What's nice is you can get out of your countdown timer mode, just like on any other Casio watch, but on other Casio watches, you usually cannot see what your timer value is. On this one, you can look over here and see that you have about 10 minutes to go on your countdown timer. Pretty simple stuff. Now, if I want to stop my countdown timer, I need to be back in the timer mode. So let's go back to it. We have our countdown timer running. If I wanted to simply pause it or stop it, I would press the bottom right button. I could resume it. While it is stopped, if I press the top right button, it will reset it back to my default value, which again in my case was 10 minutes. What if we want to change this default value? What would we do? While we're in the countdown timer mode, we're going to press and hold the top left button. You'll notice it says set and it allows us to change this countdown timer value. Our hands are getting out of the way, so our clock is not uh, messing us up. And then I can use the buttons on the right hand side to move down or up to adjust it to whatever I want to. I'm going to show you real quick. Let's set a countdown timer for 35 minutes. Once you've got it set correctly, you're going to simply press the top left button. And now we've adjusted our countdown timer value. Because I am out of the 30 minute range, when we start this countdown timer, we will not see anything happen over here on the subdial. So I'm going to go ahead and start my countdown timer. And you'll notice all we see is the digital value going down. Nothing has changed with my subdial. What's cool with this watch is once this countdown timer gets to 30 minutes, all of a sudden my left subdial will kick in and it will show me on the left subdial as well. Pretty simple stuff. As always, once you're done, you would just simply press the bottom left button a couple times, get you back to your main time mode. I still have my countdown timer running in the background, so I would probably want to go stop that. If I don't, once it goes down, it will stop. It will not automatically resume. So the countdown timer will go off for 10 seconds. Everything will reset back to the default. I would have to go back in and restart it. I hope this gives you an idea of how to use the countdown timer feature on your Casio Edifice 5658 watch. Thanks for watching.